Why are you watching this video? Oh, that's right. You're growing out a buzz cut and you may have some thinning up here and you may have a receding hairline. You want to see what it looks like as you're growing out a buzz cut. Well, here's to put this in perspective. It's basically been a little over a month since I last did a zero guard buzz cut. Well, just now I came back from uh, great clips actually and I had them do this with a number one guard on the sides and the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so you can kind of see how that looks as I'm in transition. I'm in transition of growing my hair out. And yes, I definitely have diffuse thinning on top. It, I'm already so happy to see uh, the number one, how that already dif differentiates. It's all, and, and I also opted for the, lo the longer sideburns. I keep talking about having sort of that diversion, something, some kind of flair uh, to make it more interesting uh, as you're distracting from this and this. Now, the main thing right now, I think to, to me, that's still very visible is the thinning in the back. The thinning in the back, I feel right now is still a bit obvious as my hair is the length it is. I asked the girl who cut my hair, I said, look, it's been over a month since I've done a zero guard bus cut. So if in, I theorized that it was basically a number guard that it increased each week since my zero guard buzz cut, which would put me somewhere around like a four and a half at this point. She said barely three and a half because the way she knew this was when she was doing the number one guard, she had to blend it into the top. She used a number three guard to blend it. And when she did that, she said barely anything even came off anyway. So to my surprise, this isn't a four and a half or pushing five. It's actually barely a three and a half is what she said. And she tested that with her clippers. So that's how I know that. So, okay, so my hair wasn't quite growing as fast as I thought it was. So after a month, it's been like literally, I'll do the math for you. It's been a month and five days. Uh, so it's been a month and five days since the zero guard buzz cut. And I can already tell this is looking less noticeable. And granted, I'm indoors. When I do videos outside, it's probably still gonna look awful. But right now, I feel pretty good about this. I mean, considering if you're standing this far away from me, which most people do in real life, this is what you're gonna see. It, it, it looks so much better with the number one guard. So again, if you're trying to get the, the math right on this, this right here is basically a three and a half guard, and this is a number one, and it's blended in right there. And I'm opting, at least right now, for the longer sideburns. But you know me, I don't keep a clean shaven face very long. Usually I grow out a beard for a week or two and then shave it off. That's typically how, how I am. So, thanks for watching my video here. Ah, this is nice, this is looking better. I'm getting to a better place because I am in that awkward stage of growing out a zero guard buzz cut with thinning with a receding hairline. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you in your journey.